There's such a constant stream of great titles making their way into the Xbox Game Pass library that it's honestly hard to keep track of them all. But when one of the most celebrated games of all time joins the service, it's worth taking a minute to take notice. So here's a full breakdown of why we're all so excited about the arrival of Persona 5 Royal on October 21st. It might seem counterintuitive to begin with the most recent entry in the series. You know, there's a whole song about how you're supposed to start at the very beginning, a very good place to start, but Persona 5 is actually the perfect jumping in point for newcomers. Firstly, each Persona title basically tells its own self-contained tale, so you don't need to worry about what happened in previous games. And secondly, Persona 5 is the most critically acclaimed entry in what was already a pretty acclaimed series taking what works about its predecessors and building on it in all kinds of ways. So if you want to check out the series at its absolute best, the fifth game is the way to go. Still, each persona has a distinct personality that there's no telling which game will actually end up being your favourite. So it's a good thing that Persona 3 and 4 are both on their way to Xbox Game Pass as well then, isn't it? The first thing you're likely to hear about Persona 5 is how incredible the story is. And you know what? Yeah, yeah, it is. Like other games in the series, it revolves around a group of high schoolers who have the ability to conjure personas, strange supernatural creatures that are essentially physical manifestations of their psyches. With these personas in tow, they go adventuring into the minds of those around them, all psychonauts-like, so that they can fix what's broken and generally trying to make the world a better place. It's like restorative justice, but JRPG style. Because you're hopping inside people's minds and dealing with the darkest parts of them, the story gets to dig into all kinds of serious topics like abuse, trauma, and depression. But it handles them all with care, finding an incredibly imaginative way to explore these parts of life that's sure to leave you with a whole lot rattling around inside your own psyche long after you've finished playing. Even if you come to Persona 5 totally blank, having heard not a single word about it or the series at large, you're going to be immediately struck by one thing, and that is that the game is absolutely gorgeous. The anime art style keeps the screen filled with energy and colour at all times, making things as simple as clicking through menus like kind of weirdly enjoyable. So whether you're trawling through the inventory or, you know, selecting an attack, the comic book style word art makes it all feel exciting. The game takes place across two planes of existence, our physical realm and the metaverse, where humanity's unconscious desires come to life, both of which, by the way, look amazing in very different ways. The metaverse is full of trippy sights and bizarre creatures, while your time in the real world is brought to life by all these gorgeous little details, like the way the characters unfold their umbrellas once it starts to rain. No matter where you are in the game, though, there's something to feast your eyes on, and it all looks more delicious than ever on the Xbox Series X and S in 60 FPS. Dazzling, right? You'll find that an awful lot of the critters you encounter inside the metaverse aren't all that friendly, and so while the ultimate goal here is to fix broken hearts and soothe tortured souls, you might have to hand out a few turn-based beatdowns along the way. The basic mechanics here will be familiar to any JRPG fan, mixing up melee attacks with ranged weapons and elemental magic. And if you're new to the genre, the game's tutorial does a great job of making it all nice and accessible. But Persona 5 Royal also brings in its own clever wrinkles like the Baton Pass Maneuver, which rewards you for hitting an enemy's weak point by letting you pass your turn onto another member of your party, creating the potential for devastating chain attacks. So whether you're a JRPG veteran or a total rookie, you'll have plenty to learn on Persona's supernatural school grounds. One of the best parts of any creature collecting game is seeking out all kinds of different monsters to fight by your side. And since the personas are manifestations of the strangest, most sunken parts of the human psyche, you can expect the creatures on offer to get, you know, really interesting, right? So from Norse mythology inspired stuff to Canaanite gods, Lovecraftian horrors to one whose name is actually just Satan, Persona offers up all kinds of weird and wonderful monsters for you to recruit to your cause. And that's before you've gone all, you know, Dr. Frankenstein and started fusing personas together to create brand new ones. And they each come with their own abilities and elemental leanings too. So learning how best to deploy them in a battle is a constant challenge. Although, by the way, if you do obtain a cutie like Kate Sith and refuse to use anything else, then, you know, I'm not going to blame you. Even in the world of Persona, teenage life isn't all turn-based battles and Inception-style adventures. No matter how many broken hearts you mend during the night, you've still got to turn up for class on time in the morning. The other half of Persona is a hugely immersive life sim in which you get to choose how to spend your precious hours each day. There's a ton of stat-boosting activities to keep you busy, from pumping iron at the gym to reading books, playing arcade games, or even getting a part-time job. Along the way, you'll also have the chance to build your relationships with various confidants, some of which can be taken in a romantic direction. 
<clears throat> but even if you choose to eschew the love stories, Persona 5's rich social network adds a whole new layer to its storytelling as you get to know the unique struggles of the people you pass by in the streets. It might not be as out there as battling demonic creatures in the realm of the unconscious, but taking part in this slice of life drama is still highly rewarding. One way in which Persona 5 upped its game was by replacing the procedurally generated levels of the previous games with the far grander handcrafted dungeons known as palaces. Full of branching pathways and secret passages, each palace represents the mind of a different corrupted character, and it's there that you'll battle their psychological demons. And of course, no two people are the same, and no two palaces are either, with their inner sanctums ranging from medieval castles to futuristic spaceships. These aren't just aesthetic changes either. The theme will be reflected in the enemies you face, the security measures in place, and the puzzles you'll have to solve along the way. So one minute you're breaking into a bank vault, and the next you're cracking hieroglyphic clues inside a pyramid. So from start to finish, Persona 5 keeps you guessing. Now, let's talk about some skills. But don't worry if you like things a little bit more roguish. Persona 5 still has its shares of procedurally generated dungeons in the form of Mementos. Not to be confused with the movie about a forgetful guy Pierce, Mementos is a separate dungeon that you can return to throughout the game, gaining access to deeper and deeper levels as you progress through the story. Offering a more streamlined, battle-centric experience, Mementos is the perfect place to grind up some levels and get ready for your next big boss fight. You'll also find any personas you previously encountered hopping around here, so it's a great chance to recruit any that you didn't manage to snag the first time round. And throw in a host of side missions that let you get involved with the personal dramas of various minor characters, and the deep dark pits of Mementos are just one more indication of the incredible depth that comes with Persona 5 Royal. And that brings us to another one of the game's big selling points. And there's just so much of it. Who knows what it would be that draws you in. It could be, you know, the classic JRPG battling, the endless critter catching, or the social soap opera of life as a high schooler. But once it's got you drawn in, Persona 5 Royale won't be letting you go anytime soon. Even if you keep a laser-like focus on the main story, and honestly, you're really going to struggle given how enticing the rest of the game's world is, you're looking at 100 hours of fantastical Freudian fun with about another 50 should you choose to play like a proper completionist. Basically, the only bad thing about Persona 5 Royale is that you might find yourself with absolutely no time to play anything else. But wait, there's more, because thanks to the royal part of Persona 5 Royal, you're getting the very best version of the game, adding in a couple of brand new characters, as well as new cutscenes, new events, and more. It takes a game that was already overflowing with content and somehow manages to cram in even more. Just for good measure, the version of Royal that's coming to Xbox Game Pass also chucks in all of the DLC that has been released for the game, meaning you'll have more than 40 packs worth of cosmetic goodness to add a little razzle-dazzle to your playthrough. It really is the game that keeps on giving. Persona 5 is available on Xbox and PC Game Pass right now, and we've still got two more Persona titles on their way, so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for updates on that and all other titles heading to Game Pass. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.